Hello everybody. Today I'm going to make something that's called roll tacos, taquitos, Spanish they call them flautas. Um, I have some ground hamburger meat here and I browned it already and then I'm going to add some garlic powder to it and some salt. Mm, I like doing it after it's browned because when you drain it, if you put the seasoning on before, you lose the seasoning. Now, I put an avocado in the, my mini food blender or chopper, um, and, the rest, and I'm adding garlic. In the restaurants, they add water, okay? It extends the avocado. You can add a little lemon. Now, this avocado wasn't that great, but oh well. Now, I have some tortillas that I heated up in the microwave, and how I did it was is I just rolled them in some paper towel, I sprinkled a little water on them and, and heated them up in the microwave. Now I'm going to show you how I roll these tacos or flautas or taquitos, whatever you may call them. I'm just going to roll them up and I put them seam side down into a pan with some hot oil, lard, whatever you use. And I hold them just there for a second with my fingertip because it will help uh, and brown it just slightly to hold it in place so it doesn't open up on you. There is no need. I've heard some people say, well, I'm just going to put me some toothpicks in it. There is no need to do that. It will stay in place. All you got to do is hold it seam side down. That's it. See how I'm rolling this? Just roll it up. And that's all you need to do. And then put it seam side down in the hot oil you have in your pan. And um, by the way, this is something that if you find hamburger meat on sale, you can freeze these. Now, I would put them in a container that is crush proof. I would wait till they're completely cool. You see how the seam is there? And I'm going to put that in the pan seam side down. You see that? Now, back to what I was saying. I would wait till they're completely cool, wrap them in sand, saran, um, not saran, wrap. I don't want to. Uh, I'm draining the grease off advertise for anybody just plastic wrap but wait till they're completely cool and then put them in a crush proof container and freeze them and you will have something quick and easy to make one day when you come home and you're tired and you don't feel like cooking you can go and just put those right back in a pan and heat them up and eat them now here I've got them ready I'm going to put that avocado, like I said, that avocado was kind of a little brown, but I don't care. I'm going to use it. Avocados are expensive, and I'm not going to waste it, and it really doesn't hurt the taste. But like I said, they do add a little bit of water. Now, if you get a really good avocado and you don't want it to go brown on you, squeeze just a little bit of lemon or lime in it, and it will keep it from turning brown on you. So, you know. But in this case, it was a little bit brown already, so, but I wasn't going to waste it. And I'm putting that avocado that I mixed with a little bit of water and a little bit of garlic and salt. And I'm going to put it over the top of these, okay? And that's how they serve them in lots of restaurants here. And um, I'm also going to put mm, a little bit of sour cream on them, too. Now, I have some salsa of mine that I made, and I canned it. And I'm going to put it on the top of it. But you do not have to. If you don't like salsas, you don't like spicy, you don't have to do any of that. You don't. And a tip, if you do like spicy, but you don't have salsa, when you blend the avocado, you can cut a piece of jalapeno and put it in there. Oh my gosh, it will make it spicy, wonderful, and delicious. And you don't have to have the salsa. That's just in case you're pinching pennies, but you like spice and you don't have salsa, and you don't want to buy it, or you ran out, just a piece of jalapeno in that avocado when you blend it, and yummy, it will make the avocado taste spicy and hot, and you don't have to have the salsa. But I usually can my own, so I don't worry about it. Now here I'm going to put, oh, let me explain something. I'm really playing with this here, but you can take sour cream, and you can put it in a bowl and add a little bit of milk to it. And it is a great extender and will make it easier to put over your flautas. They do that in restaurants, okay, because it extends the, the, 
and sour cream, and they don't have to spend as much money on sour cream. Uh, and, you know, it makes it a little more watery, kind of liquidy. So I'm serving up more here. But I hope you'll try this and freeze some. Freeze some for a rainy day, a day that you're tired. I mean, I, I put 50 and 60 in the freezer. I'm one of these that's all for freezing and storing when good times are here. So when bad times aren't, I have something put away. God bless you and have a blessed day.